Hello guy, hello YouTube, this is 94 Keegan showing you my new house on Minecraft that I'm on creative mode. And I'm just yeah, showing you my new place and um, the, the little yellow subtitle up there. Uh, 90 or 19 B Frick 94 was I was telling about this. That was kind of cool. I've never seen it before. I only actually saw it once before this, and took him forever clicking on single player and going back, so we keep changing to get this. So that was cool. I'd show you guys that. And can I just go to my place on test site flat? And yeah, whenever I'm recording a video, it always loads a little slow. But I guess that's what you get for not paying any money to get a free version of Bandicam. Okay, and I've done a few new things since last time you guys have seen it. Great training. Well, there's my little fish tank I put up there. Not really fish, just squid. Here's the front of my place. Put some pictures up there, and got those little guys walking into a wall. Usually that's where I have an invisible wall, but I put that as my invisible wall, so I just walk through here. This is House of 94 Keegan, and House of 94 Keegan. And there's my door switch from the outside. And then that's just there, so I could have a full wall right there. And there it is, I can close it, oh, that didn't work. Close it from the inside. And I can't close it from the outside and open it on the inside. I can only do it on each thing. Okay, so here's my place. Got a farm right there. I showed you guys already. Here's my upstairs. Got a fireplace there and a fireplace there. Uh, I decided to make a damper for it because right now it's raining. Oh, I guess I have it closed right now, but yeah, there goes the annoying noise. Does it a lot. Oh, there they are. Okay. Yeah, now they're off. Now you hear the annoying noise of water dripping on it. Now I like that something dampers, so it stops it. Or sometimes it'll make a noise, but it's not in close as often. So here's my lava falling down. That was kind of cool. It light up the place a little bit. And here's my aquarium for my squid. And for some reason they do not last long. I think I was playing for five or ten minutes, and all of them were gone. So if you guys want to make this, just letting you know they do disappear. I don't know if it was a fluke and it only happened to me, but yeah, it wasn't very good. And there's my little filter system. All I did is get a bucket and pour it along those. I did it on both sides. And I have a trap door so I can get up and down. Close that one. Close that one. See, I thought it was kind of cool. I used to have I used to have that spot as a theater room, but I didn't think that was very cool. I thought that was a better idea. So a fireplace. Here's a access to my place I showed you guys last time so there's that, there's my place, there's my track show you guys that place uh, for the actual entrance instead of through there turn it back to the bottom, there's my switch for that here's my farm of the uh, sugar cane so yeah, just switch that, closes it which again it opens, and I have it going so that these go first and then slowly work their way kind of see that. If you walk the top corner of the screen, you can see it happening. Oh, I just turned itself off. That was weird. Okay, yeah, that's what it does. And you just collect all that. It's really easy to make. It's just a simple piston thing. And here's my Poseidon's hallway. I'll post an annotation on that. So if you're watching it on a mobile device, you won't see the annotation, but I'll probably also post it in the info section, whatever you'd call that. And then Compared to my other Poseidon's hallway that I have, this one, those don't do anything. Because I hated when I was trying to walk through and going back, it would just flood with water and it'd slowly go out. So instead, I made a Poseidon's hallway lock, a little addition to it, so I can close it and it stays locked. So if the guy's chasing after me, I can. Well, it's not as effective because it's harder to hit a switch than just step on something, but you just hit that and it locks it, hit it again, and it locks it. And. Here's my, actually I'll show you the bedroom first. Here's the bedroom. Just put a piston thing in. I put that there to match this side because that's a piston right there for the door and they were interfering so I had to put some kind of glass there and regular glass shows through so I put a, put that kind instead. So there it goes, just opens up. And here's a little bedroom. 
just one light right there so it's nice and dim lit and then got a bed up here this is kind of extra room that I had with my elevator that I made oh, maybe I can show you guys Yeah. there's some of my redstone stuff from my elevator it's a really simple elevator I'll post a link of that and, a, and an annotation so you guys can in case you guys don't have an iPod or are on an iPod and you can't see it annotation okay there's that so there's my library this is actually kinda cool I thought started out really crappy just plain library there's my enchantment table there's some songs because you hear the chicken and they're kind of annoying so I just put that song on that's one of my favorite ones so let's go up here more books another enchantment table here's the light source for it and also I made a secret door right there oh dang it's open okay well I was supposed to close that I'm sure you guys didn't see that so there's a switch right there it's closed so I'm supposed to go up here and that'd be closed and you come over here and do that close that back up and get on here and here it is secret bedroom just got a bed down there have a switch to close the wall so people don't know you're in here and then a double bed up top this is kind of like the luxury suite, I guess you can call it. Let's go up here and I'll close that up. It's a little bit glowstone there, but I'd rather hurry up and do this video because I only have 15 minutes to do it since I have a free version. Close that. Here's my little walkway with glowstone and water above it. And here's some nice little pictures. And then that guy. I usually have this on almost all of my openings. I have this guy pointing towards this, which looks like he's walking through a wall, which is a hidden doorway, which is kind of cool. And then here's my elevator using trap doors. I'll post that annotation up there for you guys. So you hit that. Oh, it wasn't there in time. Okay, so you hit this, it goes up, and you just keep jumping. You just keep going down, and you get up to the top, and then you're up here. And then, in case you have multiple people going down, and they're all open, you just press this reset button, the way you don't die when you fall down, and then they all close back up for you. And then I made a light system, which was extremely easy. You just, there's, they're on, you just pistons, they'll close over it, and now it's off. So, they're on there, put elevator right there. And then remember I told you in the last video, if you remember what the green was, you'll know what this is. And yes, this is my password door. Put the password right there, show you guys. And then one is up, zero is down. So if you want to see that, you can go watch my other video. And I'll, I'll post a link to the guy I got this from, how to do this, because it's a difficult concept, but how he shows you, it's very, very simple thing to do. And here's my egg collector. This is why here are the chicken. All the chickens going on and off. So here you can just walk down here. And right now the pistons are closed, stopping the chickens from going through. And I also have this on another video. I'll post a link to show you guys how to make this. So you just flip that switch. And then these will open. But I have it especially timed. Let's get up here. So that when that opens, this won't open until the water gets to it. Okay, well, right now it's not letting me go down, so I'm going to end the video here and start part two right after this, which will be showing you the rest of my house. So, thanks for watching, and I'll have the next video up shortly for those of you who want to watch it. And please share with your friends and subscribe to, so it really helps me out. Not money-wise, because I don't get any money from this, but it helps confidence-wise. I'll make more videos for you guys. And if you have any ideas, just post them on here for me. And thanks for watching.